Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and staying safe out there. Now today's video is another Forzathon guide, which is where I'll help you complete every single challenge in this week's Forzathon as quickly and as easily as possible. So this week's Forzathon called Tough as Old Boots wants you to use a 1972 Land Rover Series 3 to complete all of its challenges. And this can be picked up dirt cheap in the auto show for 20,000 credits. And of course, I'm assuming a lot of you guys will have this anyway, as you might have won it from a wheel spin. Now I've also created a tune for you guys to use, but you don't have to use it at all. In fact, you don't really have to use a tune at all it's called fastest lr evg and it will help speed up the process in completing all of the challenges so the first challenge here just wants you to earn 20 wreckage skills which is actually really nice and easy and shouldn't take more than five minutes at all and for those of you who don't know i'll explain what a wreckage skill is in a second to complete this challenge, I went over to the Greendale Airstrip, which is where I normally go. There's plenty of locations on the map, such as the Rail Yard or just Edinburgh in general, where you can find lots of items to smash into. But this is a place I always go to because it's got a massive variety of items to hit. Now, a wreckage skill for those of you who aren't aware is just where you smash into something that's destructible, such as a bush, a fence, traffic cones, signs benches, bins, all sorts of things that you can smash into and get a wreckage skill from it. And you can continue getting the wreckage skills all the way through awesome to ultimate wreckage skill and they will all tally up and count towards your final wreckage skill count of 20. And like I said, this will only take you about five minutes. It's really, really nice and easy. And to be honest, not too difficult. And like I said, there's lots of places that you can achieve 20 wreckage skills really quickly. So the second challenge here wants you to win a cross country series event at Ambleside Rush Cross Country. So this race is located in the bottom left corner of the map and I'm sure a lot of you guys will recognise it as it's one that I use a lot because I've of course got a specially created race down here which you can use for this event. So when you go over to solo you hit custom events and you will have to type in the share code that you're seeing here which is 6223288275 and it will bring up my race called quick and easy win. Now of course there's lots of races out there that you can also use if you want to share your own feel free to put them down below in the comments for others to try out but this is quite simply a nice straight shot to the finish line where the AI go off on their own adventure up the hill into a brick wall and you have a straight shot at the finish line and it'll only take you about 10 to 11 seconds to complete depending on what tune you've got and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well so it's a nice and easy second challenge really really quickly done there. Now the final challenge, which isn't actually so much a challenge, it's more of a task, just wants you to drive 15 miles in your Land Rover. So really, really easy. Like I said, it's not a challenge at all. So you can take the scenic route and go across all the country roads, or you can do what I do, which is quite lazy, but really, really quick. And it's just driving up and down the motorway as fast as possible. So of course, with the motorway, it's mainly a str fairly straight road that you can just max out in. So you're hitting about 200 mile an hour for most of the way. So you'll be racking up the mileage really, really quickly. And it shouldn't take too long to do at all. Maybe three, possibly four runs of the motorway to get the full 15 miles. But that'll take about five to ten minutes, like I said, when you're hitting speeds of above 190 mile an hour. So there you have a guide to this week's Forzathons challenges, which are really, really nice and easy, to be honest, and not too difficult. Now, just a couple of things I want to touch on before I end the video. First of all, if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend going and checking out my 200 million credit giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away to four lucky winners 50 million credits each. So go and check that video out. You'll see it pop up on the screen now and there's a link in the description as well. And you'll be entered to have your chance at winning 50 million credits. And finally, I have now got a Discord server. So the link is also in the description for that as well. If you want to ask any sort of questions, whatever it may be, whether it's related to Forza Horizon 4 or whatever else, just put them in that Discord and I will reply to you in there. We can have a good little chat on there. But apart from that, I want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support. If you're new to the channel and this helped you out, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe as well. But all the best guys and make sure you take care and stay safe out there.